All right, big news, everyone. Kostecki is making a return to supercars. And if you had told me this, that he was actually returning with Erebus at the start of the year after everything that unfolded, I would have called you crazy. But here we are. He's back. He's back for Taupo in New Zealand. He's getting ready. Now, um... You came back. You were right, Roxanne. I never should have left. Whoa, I... I thought you were dead. My death was greatly exaggerated. So here's what we do know. Um, Brody Kostecki will be returning with Erebus in New Zealand. Uh, the reigning champion set out the first two rounds of 2024 uh, as Todd Hazelwood deputized Kostecki at the Bathurst 500 and then eventually the Grand Prix as well after Brody Kostecki was missing that one. Um, it's been confirmed that he will be making his return. Um, he'll be undertaking a test day at Win Winton Motor Raceway this uh, week ahead of the uh, Super 400 in April 19th to 21st, which is still a good two weeks away, by the way. That race is still like two weeks away. Just, just a little side comment on the supercars calendar. Why the fuck do we have so many big breaks? Like this is crazy to me. I think to a lot of other people as well. It's why we keep seeing drivers like Cam Waters, uh, Brody Kostecki himself last season going over to America and racing. Every other driver is doing something else because there's just no driving in supercars. You know, twelve rounds a season. That's about around a month. Uh, you know, some months have two rounds because we don't race necessarily in January and we're like sometimes don't race in December um so obviously Todd Hazelwood filled in for the first two rounds he did a good job for what it's worth um he didn't shine he didn't exceed expectations but he did all right you know he, for someone who got thrown into a seat with not much preparation and at a team that has lost a lot of sponsors a lot of funding he did all right for what it's worth um I'm excited to be back behind the wheel again I needed some time away to prioritize my health, said Kostecki in a team statement. I'm grateful for the support, privacy, and time Betty Barry and the team have given me. Now, there is a lot that's gone on behind closed doors here. Um, I obviously won't be saying too much on it. I won't be saying too much on the issue because it's not my place to say. There's videos of me saying it all. In, <laughs> like, you can click on those videos. It'll show you what has been said by me. But, you know, there's been a lot going on. It's good to have Brody back. <clears throat> in the weeks leading to the Thrifty 500, Erebus confirmed Kostecki would not race for the team at round one. Um, Hazelwood returned from Melbourne with Kostecki's title of defense now officially resuming at round three. Anyone who thinks that Kostecki's defending a title is definitely, definitely just crazy. Um, Kostecki is already two rounds off. Red Bull are dominating the championship at Erebus and not nearly as good as they were last season, and especially with the changing pit garages, the live pit lane order, I think it is whatever that bullshit is called this season. Um, yeah, I don't think Kostecki stands a shot at all of coming close to a title defense. Maybe, maybe he gets a win or two. That's probably the best that the team can hope for. Um, Erebus CEO Barry Ryan, everyone's favorite, says the return of Kostecki, who won six races en route to last year's title, would be a positive for the team. On behalf of Betty and the team, we are pleased Brody is ready to drive again. Having Brody back to work alongside Jack as he becomes more familiar with our cars would be a positive for our entire team. That much, I agree with Barry. Having Kostecki at the team, he's a good driver. He's a champion, for fuck's sakes. He's a champion. He deserved that championship last year. He did really well to drive against, you know, Shane Van Gisberg and Will Brown, Brock Feeney. You know, he put himself on the map. He's made himself known as a good driver, and he's, he's well experienced. He's well experienced. He can do it, and there's no reason why he can't pick up a win this year. There's no reason why he can't be picking up podiums. He's a very good driver. It does suck for Hazelwood. Hazelwood did well for all that like it's worth. Hazelwood did Hazelwood did really well. Um, this he's probably one of my favorite drivers, and I think he's very underrated because he is a good driver. But if you consider the cars he's been in, he's been in what? He's been <laughs> that MSR car that where they switched to a VF Commodore in the middle of a season full of ZV Commodores because their fucking Falcon was dog shit, you know. That's that's he that was his first car. That was his first season as a full-time driver. And then what? He had Brad Jones Racing, he didn't do too bad at. He got what? He got a pole position and a few podiums, if memory serves me correct. Um, but once again, these were COVID seasons as well. And then MSR. Was it Matt Stone Racing? Yeah, I think he went back to Matt Stone Racing. He did alright there as well. He didn't exceed. Then he went to Cool Drive, and I thought his results were alright. I thought his results were fine. Same with Slades, really, at Cool Drive, at uh, Blanchard Racing Team. I thought their results were fine. But for whatever reason, the team went with James Courtney, presumably sponsor money, having a champion at the team, it does mean a lot. 
I still don't think Hazelwood should have been kicked. I still think he's a better driver than Courtney as it is right now, but that's neither here nor there. That's just my opinion, obviously. Um, Hazelwood impressed with Erebus driving to ninth in the championship standings after the opening two rounds. If you tell if you told somebody that Erebus cars would be ninth in the championship after like if you said that at Adelaide last year, you would be laughed out of the room. But that's how it is. That's how it is now. Um, the 2017 Super 2 champion will be alongside Kostecki in the team at this week's test before racing for the team the Enduros. He is coming back. There is a chance that he does win a race at Sandown or at Bathurst. I don't think it's likely given that Red Bull are so strong and that, you know, the parity is a little bit better this year. So there's more chance of a Ford being up the front than there was last year. Um, big thanks to Todd Ryan added. He performed brilliantly under considerable pressure and scrutiny. So hats off to him. We look forward to having him at the test day with this week and back in the seat for the Enduros later in the year. Now, <clears throat> Erebus have really gone from up here all the way to down here. Um, they lost Will Brown to like Red Bull. That was quite a pickup for Red Bull. You know, it's hard to replace Shane Van Gisbergen. But they picked up Will Brown, who has done exceptionally well this year. Like, let's be real. Will Brown, putting the fight to Feeney in his first year at the team, very good driver. He's well experienced. He's done well in most of the championships he's been in. Losing Brody Kostecki for the first few rounds, big hit. They've lost their uh, marketing director, Shannon. Um, she's gone out of the team. They've really fallen off from the position that they were last year. It'll be good to have Brody back, but you consider, right, you consider who we're racing against. You know? Tri <laughs> Triple Eight. You know, they have such a formidable team. They have such formidable drivers. They have such formidable co-drivers. Except for Scott Pye, obviously. He's not the best. But uh, when you compare him to what? David Russell. Todd Hazelwood I like, but Todd Hazelwood's no Jamie Winker. If the situation is to be, be believed, at least, he didn't deserve any of this. Um... I hope he's okay. If he if he's been taking time off for his health and his mental health, I really hope he's okay. You know, that stuff's important, and it often gets uh, like overlooked in a series like this, where drivers are expected to be very positive and media facing at all times. It does get overlooked. Brody is a remarkable driver. It'll be good to have him back. It'll be good to have him battling, even if he's just battling in the mid pack, even if he's just battling for like, you know. P7, P6, even if he's fighting for podiums, not necessarily the wins, he's such a good, he's such a good steerer that I'd love to just see him on the grid again. So while I remember, um, I just wanted to say thank you all for the subscribers. Um, we hit 1k uh, over my hiatus. There's been a lot going on in my life. Um, had to move a bunch of things around and been a little bit busy, but we hit 1,000 subscribers. We are officially a YouTube partner and that's big. And I want to thank each and every one of you have subscribed so far so thank you for that um i will be returning and making more videos i know i keep saying that i know i keep promising that um i will be i'll be back i do have a few things lined up i'm gonna be doing an interview with a certain driver at some point um not necessarily a supercars driver though i am trying to organize that as well if you want me to try and organize an interview with a supercars driver do drop the driver that you want me to interview in the comments below um I will be interviewing a certain somebody who either he is a champion, not necessarily a supercars champion, but we will also be, I'm doing a supercars iceberg video that is well in the works. And that is one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading. It's coming, it's all coming soon. Keep posted and I'll catch you guys later.